another cassette deck with a problem. Let's check this one out and see what's going on. Here's an Akamishi BX100 that I worked on, I guess, uh, about uh, seven, eight months ago, nine months ago. And uh, it's come back. It's now, the reels are not turning at all. The, the owner of it decided to help me out by taking out the screws and removing the, the cover over the cassette mechanism. So let's see what's happening with this unit. So when I press the play button, I notice the capstan motor is coming on, but I don't see any attempt for it to raise or lower the uh, the head. There's a motor down here. This is the, the control motor, which operates the cams. I'm wondering if it is attempting to turn or whether it's stuck. So what I'm thinking is that Maybe this cam is this cam motor and cam gear is maybe jammed. You see the the gear down here. It doesn't appear to be even trying to move things. I'm gonna try and see if I can free this up a bit. Turn it by hand underneath here. Okay. Now let's see when I press play whether it tries to raise the head because it didn't before. Oh, so something's moving. Okay, now it's moving. So maybe that gear was just stuck. Because now it's loading and I'm loading the tape. Interesting. So will it try to go to fast forward? Yes, it does. Okay, we're slipping a little bit here. We put rubber renew on this last year. It looks like our idlers has gone bad, but the, the mechanism got jammed. And now, of course, the head is, is moving and the tape spool is spinning, as you can see. So let's just see if we can uh, get this uh, idler tire to grip a little better. I'll first remove the idler itself. I just want to take a look in behind the idler and take a look at the the plastic control arm, the spring and everything that's in here. Make sure there's enough tension on it. Remove the idler. tire is pretty much worn. I don't know if we can get any more life on it or whether I can just try getting a replacement or an o-ring on there. That might be the answer if I can get an o-ring that will fit on there that's about the right size. This tire certainly is uh, not in great shape. I'm trying an old trick I was shown years ago. When you get a tire that's a little bit too loose, you can wrap, sometimes wrap a piece of wire around the inside of the the wheel the hub and then put the tire over top of it and that way the thickness of the wire will expand the tire a little bit and sometimes that's all you need to do to give you a little bit more of an edge to make a good transfer of power Because sometimes these, these rubber tires, you just can't get a lot of these things because of the, they're obsolete. Right? Even the more common ones are hard to find these days. But for a machine that hasn't been made in, you know, the time that these ones haven't been made in, because Nakamishi went under, and uh, a lot of the Nakamishis used non-standard sizes that weren't readily available. They, they sold you the whole idler assembly. 
And when they were readily available was one thing, but now it's just trying to get any parts for these units is uh, it's like pulling teeth. Sometimes you get lucky with an O-ring. I don't have an O-ring of a comparable size or I would try one. There's lots of different tricks out there that people have done over the years, like uh, turning the tire inside out sometimes will work. Putting something under the tire to raise it up a bit, which is what I've done here with a piece of, of wire. I don't know if I've got it the right length or not, but we'll find out. I put the idler back on. I'm not putting the I'm not putting on the uh, Not putting on the cut washer. I just want to see how it drives. A little bit, uh, I'm a little bit high on one side. Okay, so let's just try it. I've got the tire back in place now. This is just with one strand of uh, like uh, number 22 gauge copper wire wrapped underneath the tire to give it a little bit higher, di or a little bit more of a diameter. As you can see, now it's turning. It's not the quietest thing in the world. You can hear it, but uh, it's now rolling the tape. So we can work on that idler and see if I can get it to run a little more smooth than it is. Uh, short of replacing the tire, that's about the best you can do. Oh, i got a high spot here. That might be why. Let me see if I can work on that and see if I can get that to sit in properly. making sure that the tire is sitting flush in all the way around on both sides. They have a bit of a high spot on one side. It might be that the, the wire wrapped underneath there is not perfectly straight. about the right size. When you do this you try to keep the wire so that it it doesn't overlap so that it's exactly the same size as the uh, as what's going underneath there. Sometimes uh, two wraps would actually be better because uh, it'll fill the full groove. And you don't end up with some high spots. Okay idler is back on. I've got two ruts, uh, wraps of uh, thin copper wire wrapped around the uh, the hub itself, the rim, and then the tire on top of that. That will expand the uh, the diameter of the tire ever so slightly. And as you can see, we get good torque. Now, if I I can pretty much stall the motor out. If we look at the motor. If you see the motor spinning down here, I can pretty much stall the motor out. So we got really good torque now. And that's just by expanding that tire. You know, it, it's expanding it maybe a millimeter. Uh, what, I, say, what I showed you was on the inside of this hub here, on the inside of the wheel, I wrapped two just two strands of, of copper wire. I just used the standard, the standard communication wire for stuff which is just like Cat5, right? Strip the insulation off, of course, and just wrap the bare copper around there and then put the tire down over top of it. And what that does is that expands the inner uh, diameter a little bit of the, uh, or the inner circumference, I should say, of the, of the hub, the wheel, basically, which uh, then, of course, stretches the uh, rubber a little more and gives it just a little bit more of a bite to turn the tape reels. And 
Everything seems to be working okay on here now. They still have a bit of a high spot on there. So let me just take a look at that idler again. See how it's how true it's running. Looks like we may still have a bit of a high spot that I have to work on to just push it back in a bit more. But uh, other than that, it uh, seems to have plenty of torque now. I mean, ultimately, replacing the rubber tire would be the best solution if one can be found. Initially, this was sticking because uh, this, this cam gear was stuck. I'm going to put some molly coat grease onto the gear and work it in. some grease into the into the gear here there's a worm gear underneath here that meshes with that gear so I want to make sure that I get some grease that gets down into that worm gear That sounds a little high. Yeah, 558? Yeah, that should be 440. Why is it going so fast? Hmm. It appears the belt is riding on the edge instead of on the proper pulley. So let's just put it where it belongs and see if our speed is correct. There, let's try that. There, that sounds a little better. Wonder how that got up there pretty close. Let's uh, see how music sounds. That sounds a bit better. forward is moving along pretty good. Rewind is also moving along pretty good. So that should extend the life of this uh, idler tower for a while, I would think. Everything seems to be working. I mean, we are talking a pretty old tape deck and uh, everything seems to be functional now. So I think at this point I'm going to leave this as it is and uh, now you guys learned a new trick. If you've got a slipping idler, you can uh, usually just put a, a couple of wraps of wire around it to give it a little bit of bigger circumference on the hub and that will of course translate into a little bit bigger outside diameter which is sometimes all it needs to work when you can't find an original replacement this, should, this could go on for years I would advise the guy that owns it that he might want to start looking online and see if he can find a replacement tire for it and then it can be changed out at uh, some point but at this point it, it looks like it's working good uh, the guy I know that uh, owns this and we'll take it from there thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one bye for now